Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I'd like to show you how I am going to upload photos to both Instagram and my Facebook business page at the same time. And then I'm going to schedule it. But I also want to show you how you can take it a step further and add all the text onto all the photos as well as schedule this post. So let's have a look at what we're going to do today. Here I am on my Facebook business page and I know I'm not on my personal account because up here in the right hand corner that profile picture matches the same profile picture right over here for my business page. Now if I did not see the same picture I would just click on the circle and then I could go and look for the business page that I'm trying to post on. Next, what we want to do is we're going to look at where it says what's on your mind and all you're going to do is click inside this little box. Now before we go any further, you want to make sure that you have connected your Instagram account with your Facebook business page and you can do this two ways. One straight from your smartphone or you can do it from your laptop on your Facebook account. If you are not connected, it will tell you when you try to do this. So let's go ahead and click what's on your mind. Now down here underneath, it says Meta Business Suite. You'll notice that this is a blue hyperlinked, right? See how I put the cursor on it? And it shows me a little hand. That means that this link is going to go somewhere and this is the link that we want to be clicking so let's click meta business suite now it's going to open up into what's known as your planner and this just shows you past content or it would also show you scheduled content right here in your planner. We want to create a post. Therefore, what we want to do is go up into the top right hand corner where it says create post. So let's go ahead and click here. Now it takes us right over to where we can create the post. You'll want to make sure you know where all the photos are on your desktop or on your phone and that you've allowed access for Facebook to retrieve those photos to use them in the post. So on the top left hand corner you'll notice there's the Facebook logo and the Instagram logo and it is here that it would tell you to connect your account if you were not connected. So if you use a little drop down arrow you will see that I'm going to post on Instagram and I am going to post on my Facebook business page. Having said that, you can add as many photos as you want to Facebook, but Instagram will only allow you to use 10 photos. So what I tend to do is upload my 10 photos and then if I want to put more photos on my Facebook business page, I will open it and show you how to do that after. So let's go ahead and click add photo. Remember you need to know where your photos are and don't worry if they're not in order. However, you can number them one to 10 and then they will load in that order. So as you load your photos, you can drag and drop them into the proper order that you want to have them displayed. So if I want to showcase the home, then I would showcase maybe the kitchen, the living room, things of that nature. And you just drag and drop the photos how you want them to be displayed on the screen. The next thing you want to do is scroll down and in the box where it says text, you want to add your text. Okay, you want to make sure that you have all your spelling checked. On Facebook, you can add a link to your website, such as I've done here. However, links are not clickable on Instagram. So what I tend to do is I edit the post um, and take out the link 
And when I edit it, that's when I add all my hashtags. So when you feel comfortable and you are ready to post, the next thing you want to do is go to the teardrop, click on it and enter your location. And save it. Now what you can do is you can click on the word schedule right here and you can schedule this post for Facebook. I'm just going to have it go out right now, but for Instagram, I'm going to schedule it to go out for, let's say, uh, one o'clock today. Right, there we go. And I'll schedule that for the next day and then I'm, I will show you how to edit the post. So we're scheduled these posts and let's go ahead and just click schedule down here in the bottom. What it will do now is it will open up this post in planner and it is in planner that I can go ahead and I can edit the post. So you can see there is our Instagram post right here. So I want to make sure I have all my hashtags and what I tend to do is I keep my hashtags written out in my notes. So I will go into my notes right now. I will click on Instagram. And then the three little dots in the top right hand corner, always click on them to see what is behind those little dots. There's a lot of features that we don't know about because we don't click around. And I don't think that you're going to risk having anything deleted or lost just by clicking on the box. So now I can go ahead and make a decision what I want to do if I want to delete the post or edit the post. And I want to edit the post because remember I told you on Instagram, you cannot have a clickable link. So the first thing I want to do is remove this link here, line it up a little. Then you notice down here, it says, send me a private message on Facebook. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And remember I copied all my hashtags and I have a little something written out because I keep them in my notes synced on my computer and my phone so it makes it easier for me to just add content and to add my links and I might just put a few emojis in here because it draws attention to the post there we go and now what I can do is I can click publish now and then I can just publish it right now directly onto my Instagram account. Or I could have just hit schedule again and had it go out for some time in the future. Now what I want to talk to you about is the Facebook post and how I add the text to the photos. So let's go back into our planner. I went over to the left and you notice the drop down menu here. I clicked on planner. It took me back to the planner. Now here's the Facebook post. So if I just click on it, I can just click publish now and I'm going to go ahead and publish it now and publish. I'm going to give it probably a good minute to actually publish onto my Facebook page. And then I'm going to go over to my page. So what I do is I just click on home. And when I get to the home button, I click on Facebook logo there and it will take me directly to my wall. As you can see, here's the post. And I wanna add more photos and I wanna add all this text that's right here to each one of the photos because otherwise, there's no text that follows each photo. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy it here. But first I'm going to add that little emoji house, right? So I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go over to those three little dots that I told you about earlier when we were in the planner looking at editing the Instagram post. There's those three little dots again. Let's click them. And here you have edit post. Let's go ahead and click on edit post. Now I did copy the text, but remember I said I want to add a little emoji up here to the beginning to draw attention. Now 
Now I'm going to copy the text. Command C on my Mac. And right there, I soon, notice there was nothing on those photos, but as soon as I put my cursor down, I can now edit all the photos. Well, I told you I wanted to add a few more photos. I know where those photos are, so I'm going to click Add Photos. There are the three photos I wanted to add. and it added them right down to the bottom. And now if I want to move the photos around, I drag and drop them, right? And you just keep dragging and dropping them till you have them in the order that you want to see them in. And that's good. Now I've got all that copied text. See where it says caption? I'm just going to Command X, V, and drop them off on my Mac. Command V, Command V. And what I'm doing is I'm adding that text to every single photo. Okay, now all you're going to do is go ahead and click Done, and then click Save. And then if you refresh your page just by clicking the little refresh button, now you see there's your post. It's got the little house added as an emoji. It's got a clickable link. See what happens when I click on it? It takes the consumer directly to the website where all the information is. And if I click on the photo, I can click through the photos and you can see the text shows up on the right hand side. And you just make sure you're happy with everything that you see. This is a beautiful property. And then I'm just going to click on my name, Heather Clifford, and it'll take me back to my wall. And there we go. This is how we can edit a post, how we can schedule a post, how we can post on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, and how we can add all our hashtags to our Instagram post as well. This is Heather, and I hope this video helps you. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.